Yellow River. The Yellow River is also called the Mother River by the Chinese people because its water contains a lot of mud and sand. The water of the river gives a color of yellow. That's how the Yellow River gets its name. The Yellow River is the second largest river in China. It takes its rise from Qinghai province, flowing over nine provinces until to reach the sea. It travels a journey of over 5,000 kilometers. Along its way over the Lost Plateau, the water carries a lot of sand and mud with it. In order to contain the raging water, people begin to build dams. As mud and earth keep flowing into the river, the dam has to be built higher and higher. As time passes on, the Yellow River becomes a famous river above the ground. In many parts, the water level is 8 to 10 meters higher than the ground outside. That is to say, for the people of the ground, the river flows at somewhere around 3 to 4 stories higher. In such a situation, once the dam breaks, the river will cause disaster. So, people have to change its routes. Constant change in its river course is one characteristic that makes Yellow River distinct from other rivers. Why is the Yellow River called the Mother River? Because it is the cradle of the Chinese nation. As earlier as 1,100,000 years ago, the primitive men began to live in the drainage area of the Yellow River. About 4,000 years ago, the Huaxia nationality gradually came into being. From the Xia dynasty, 21st century BC, during the course of over 4,000 years, the drainage area of the Yellow River had been chosen at the site of the capital city of various dynasties for over 3,000 years. The drainage area of the Yellow River reads its long history and has left the precious legacy for the Chinese culture. At the cradle of Chinese civilization, the Yellow River injects life into the vein of Chinese civilization. It has become the symbol of Chinese spirits. <music>